I'm here at the All England Club to go behind the scenes with everyone's favourite Wimbledon institution. No, not the strawberries and cream. I'm here with the ball kids, that's the ball girls and ball boys. And I'm not just going to watch them, I'm going to have a go at doing their training. I've run marathons before. How hard can it be? It's really tough. Uh, they say that they think the training is harder than the championships itself. <laughs> um, so they're under quite a lot of pressure, obviously. There's a lot of instructors watching them. It's not just about what they do, it's how they do it as well. There's very much a performance element. We're looking at the aesthetics of it and things like that. A discipline is pretty key because everything we do involves a process or instructions. Obviously fitness is uh, very important because we've got to be able to sustain a performance for an hour on court. Uh, and then there's the skills that they do, the rolling and the feeding and the knowledge obviously of the game. First time inception court, it was so surreal. It was absolutely amazing to hear the crowd floors and it's just amazing. And the aura of Wimbledon tennis, it's, it's the big thing, like, everyone knows it. And to be part of such a selective group, it's, it's just fantastic. The process starts at school and there are, almost everybody tries to apply to be one. So they do training every week until the actual tournament starts. So it's, it's quite vigorous, but it's worth it at the end of the day. Zero. Zero. Congratulations, first time ever. <laughs> My tennis player, probably Nadal. Well, I had the opportunity of ball girling for him on court one, and that was just absolutely amazing. All the top players are kind of good to a ball boy for. Some of them are like, they're really nice, they're just normal people, so they're all really nice things, but I've had some that I've given them the towel, gone to roll, and they've just chucked it on the floor. The players, some of them have their own little perks. And this one is probably Nadal, who has two towels, which most players only have one. Turns out, pretty hard. Um, so, we had to uh, start off with a jog. We did some star jumps, uh, did some lunges. It's a little bit of a blur, to be honest. Uh, now I'm sprinting along, a 14-year-old girl tripped over near to me. It is not for the faint-hearted, uh, but it finished off. Three minutes to stand still, stuck still, and that is a lot harder than it sounds. You know, it was a real test of concentration and endurance. Um, and you know, I was just doing the warm-up. The other guys have got another two and a half hours of this. So good luck to them.